Good morning or afternoon, stage two. Um, Mr. Levinich here, and I'm going to run through with you with the music lesson today. So we're up to lesson two, and we will be able to distinguish note changes. So today we're going to listen to our 12-bar blue song, the boogie, woogie, 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 boogie. And we're going to talk about changes in um, the notes, so what notes are being played. Um, we're going to be modeling that today by actually using our body percussion. So, you know, patting your shoulders or clapping or clicking or patching when you pat your thighs, like we did when we were keeping the beat in the warm up. So, we're going to use that to identify note changes. So, the first thing we need to talk about before we talk about any of this is what harmony of the song means. So, the harmony means is when notes go together and they sound really nice, basically. So when you're ever playing guitar, piano, bass, or just an in tuned instrument, so a tuned instrument means that you can play, make different sounds, um, it actually, it doesn't always sound nice when you play some notes together. But some notes work really well together. So when we go to the piano, I'll show you what these notes look like on a piano. Um, and we represent them using letters. So we've got C, D, E, F, G, a, B, and then it goes back to C. And we also have these notes up here the, on the black keys, which are called sharps or flats. And we're not going to worry too much about them today, because what we're going to be looking at is these white key notes. And you'll notice that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of those before they repeat the letters. And these letters play the same note just at what we call a higher pitch further to the right, lower pitch further to the left. So when we're playing in the harmony in the 12 bar blues, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the first, fourth, and fifth note of a scale. And a scale is when we use seven generally seven of those notes, so these notes here, we can take usually about seven that work really well together and we use them to make the harmony. So a scale is when a musician generally uses seven of 12 notes to make patterns. We use letters to represent notes in music. So we're going to look at the C major scale because that's part of our boogie, woogie, 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 boogie. And in the C major scale, we have these notes. We use C, D, E, F, G, A, B. And we can then also use the other C's and the other D's and E's, as you can see. But we're just going to stay with down here for now to make it easier. Now, in the structure, how we use this in the 12 bar blues is that we use, like we set up here, we're going to use the first letter or the first note, I should say, which is C. We're going to use the fourth, which is F. And we're going to use the fifth one, which is G. And we'll scroll back down here. And the 12 bar blues is when we play for four beats in each bar, those notes. So this is a bar here. And like we talked about with beat, we're going to play this note for four beats. So we go C, two, three, four, and C again for four beats. One, two, three three, four, and again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we play C for four beats, for four bars. The fifth bar goes to F, F, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, and then back to C, one, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, then when we get to the ninth bar, it goes G, two, three, four, F, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four. I'm going to show you this while playing the boogie, woogie, woogie, woogie blues in the background on the virtual piano. It is quite tricky to do on the virtual piano but it should give you an idea of how we can listen and hear the changes. So I'm going to wait for when the singing starts to start playing on the piano. Let's get the song up and going. We've got our little cool bit at the beginning and I'll get the piano up. Mm -hmm. 
two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Well, it was a lot trickier to hit it, and I missed one of them. But you can see how when we keep that beat how they all start at the same time and that continues the structure and it all sounded really nice. The notes worked really well together. So for your second activity after this video, what you're going to do is you're going to have a practice, but we're going to start today with using body percussion. And you can see here, I've already chosen some body percussion. So you can practice along with me. Whoa, whoa, no, I don't want all that. I just want this one for now. You go C. It's going to be a clap, 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 clap. Now, you might have noticed when I was playing the piano, I only played on the first beat. That's how we're going to play it for this. So I'm only going to clap on the first beat for C. For F, I'm going to click. And for G, I'm going to patch sing. Remember, that's when we clap or we pat our thighs. It's going to make it a little bit trickier. It's okay. So it will go something like this. One, two, three, four. 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 I would like for you to have a try. You can rewind this part of the video and you can try and do it with the C. You can then practice with the F or then with the G or try it all at once if you feel like you're up for the challenge. So I would like to have one more go, and you can choose right now whether you're going to play the C, or if you're going to click with the F, or you're going to patch in with the G. I recommend you try rewinding and practice all parts separately, then putting it all together yourself. Ready? So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, and then when I clap is when we begin. So I'm going to say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and we'll begin from there. So it warms you up and gets you ready. We'll start with C. So if you've chosen to play C for your first practice, you're going to clap with me on C. If you've chosen F, you're going to wait till we reach F to click. And G, you're going to wait for G to patch C. Ready? One, two, three, four. 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 Sorry, it's a bit tricky when it all shuffles down. So replay that last bit of the video if you want to have a bit of practice. Um, if you want a real challenge with this activity, so this is the second activity, you can try and practice along with the music. So if we rewind back a bit, we'll come in when the singer starts. You can have a practice with the music. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Here we go. 
One, two, three, four. 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 We go again. Okay. Um, you guys, um, if there's any issues, please don't feel he- um, please don't hesitate to contact us. Otherwise, have fun. This, um, so the second activity after watching this clip is to um, come up with different types of body percussion instruments. The third would be to actually have a practice yourself with your new body percussion instruments, and fourth will be to film it. And post it onto um to, onto your Google Classroom, and to make sure you turn it in, so that way we can see it. Have a great one, guys, and I hope this helped. Bye, stage two.